everybody, this is your monthly tarot reading for October 2016. Now I'm a little bit late with uh, this monthly reading, so I'm going to do the forecast for the remaining three weeks of October. So instead of doing, hmm, I, I was thinking of either doing a Celtic cross spread or doing a three card spread, one card for each week and then an overall card. I'm going to go with the Celtic cross spread again. So I've just decided to do that. So let's have a look at what's coming up in October and I'm using the um, Radiant Rider Weight deck for this reading. And I'm going to arrange the cards so that you can see them, see most of them. And the Celtic Cross spread is made up of 10 cards. It's got a cross here and then it's got a staff on the side made up of four cards. But just so I can fit them into the screen, I'm going to put them in two little staffs here on the side. Okay, so this is for the final three weeks of October. I hope you're having a fabulous month so far. At the center of this reading is the Nine of Pentacles, which really represents wealth via discipline. This is a woman who is elegant and prosperous. You can see this super elegant robe that she's got there. She's surrounded by grapes and money, all symbols of abundance. This falcon, which is sitting on her wrist because, it, wrist because it's been trained to do so. Again, that's an indicator of really being very disciplined and working at something. So the core theme here for October, the main statement, the energy is saying that if you work hard, you will get a lot out of it and you can become very prosperous as a result of your own work. And that is echoed by the Ten of Pentacles here, which is the highest card of the Pentacle suit. And it says that if you work hard, you can really get to a place of security and stability in your financial life. And you can also open a gate for yourself in your own life and move into a space in your life where you are prosperous and abundant. And we can create those doorways at any points of our lives. You know, if you're sitting somewhere right now and you've been in a job that's beneath you for eight years and you decide I'm going to open a doorway into a new kind of financial reality it's almost like you can take your finger and draw that doorway into your reality and almost in your mind's eye walk through it and it's as easy as doing that to shift the energy it's like creating magic for yourself so the root cause here of October is that things are unseen things are not clear we've got this woman here who's blindfolded who's blocking herself off the moon rules everything. So there's fear and there's uncertainty. So there may be a feeling of, I don't know what's going on here. I feel uneasy about things. I feel scared. And one of the responses, one of the possible responses to a feeling like that is to overcompensate by working very hard. So it could be that your fuel to work so hard is this fear. But another way of seeing this card, if you look at this card in the Toth Tarot, it says that this is the peace card. And it's by getting in touch with your own feelings, meditating that you can be at peace. So don't, if you are afraid, do the meditative work to let go of that fear. And if there are remnants of it, use it in a positive way to work and to increase your abundance. Now, October is much more, you're much more diligent and hardworking in October than you were in September. This is the past card. So more work. You're not as focused on feelings and you feel a little bit like there are obstacles in your way and you have to kind of push through. So it doesn't feel like a super easy month. It feels like you have to work hard, like there are obstacles. And I get the sense that these are emotional obstacles and these are also um, circumstantial obstacles, like your feelings and your work. Those are the things that you have to really deal with and work with and kind of try and overcome. So if you feel massively depressed, but you want to to go to work or you feel like you have to go to work, then that's a challenge. That's a way your emotions are difficult and they don't support you and you have to kind of work with them. The way to overcome that is meditation rather than fear, having faith rather than allowing fear to rule supreme. And the other thing is, if your work in itself is difficult, the cards are saying, don't worry about that. Keep pushing forward because if you are disciplined and if you do push, you open this new doorway and you become more prosperous. The thing is, though, it doesn't feel easy. Things aren't just handed to you on a silver platter. You have to work for them. You feel like you're on the wrong track. That's a pervasive theme here in October that you feel things are 
out of joint. Things are awry. I don't feel like I'm spiritual enough. I don't feel like I'm working at the right things. I feel afraid. I feel like things aren't making sense. I feel like things aren't adding up. There's a sense of things are not quite right. And you're not going with the flow or things are out of kilter. And that's a weird feeling. Some people can really tolerate that. And some people can't at all. Some people will think, oh my God, I need to know what I'm doing. And this uncertainty is driving me nuts. And that's represented here by this sense of instability and feeling of what's my life about. Now that is not a comfortable feeling. Again, faith and meditation is going to help you come to terms with that. But on the plus side, you're forced to adopt new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of being, and also reaching out to other people. So yes, things aren't easy in October. Things may feel a little bit out of kilt, kilter, out of balance, but the uneasiness forces you to look at new ways of doing things, adopting new ideas, and also hanging out more with your friends to um, connect and to, to kind of talk through problems and to uh, discuss them with other people and also to have fun. So if you do have to stay stuck within yourself, the way forward is to focus on work and meditation rather than fear and despair. And if you do um, reach out to other people, make sure that it's with friends who are um, artistically inclined or who are open to new ideas, who you can share outlandish things with. You know, not the type of friend who is super con conventional and never does anything new. That's not going to help you. You need some innovation. You need people who are also struggling with uncertainty and who are working deliberately at finding ways forward and and using new opportunities and finding new ways to achieve and looking at alternate ways of having fun or overcoming obstacles or getting ahead so you've got to surround yourself with like-minded people to have the greatest sense of fun and to be able to identify new ideas and to adopt new ideas and to implement new ideas Okay, so when things are tough, we all have to kind of find different ways of doing things. You know, we have to shake things up. We have to turn things around. Yes, it doesn't feel very comfortable, but you and I both know that sometimes when people are forced to do things differently, much better things come out. The, the, the reality can look much better because someone has been shaken up and someone has been forced to make things look better or more effective or more streamlined or whatever that is. So get in touch with this process. I also feel that if your health is struggling a little bit, it's really important to do a detox. Sitting in a sauna or doing a cleanse or something like that. Um, I think we're getting into the time of year now where things have built up you know, over the last 10 months, it's time to let go of some of the tough things we've experienced, difficulties with other people, negative experiences, medications that we've taken, um, faulty beliefs we've adopted. It's really important to do a, an autumn clean here to let go of stuff so you can be true to yourself and you can let your light shine moving on into the later months here, November and December. So if the health is an issue then look at that for a way forward okay so i feel prompted to pull another card for the number and the card is going to have a meaning so we've got the number nine okay in reverse so a lot of the problems come from not connecting with spirit and you can make this whole thing a lot easier for yourself you know you don't need to be beat up and bandaged if you connect with spirits if you meditate that will help you overcome obstacles more easily because your guides and your angels and the universe and your higher power are supporting you in overcoming these obstacles and implementing new ideas. So that's the key here. Spiritual connection, a relationship with the higher power, super important and very easy to, to lose. Life is busy for most of us. You know, a 20 minute meditation practice in the morning and evening may sound very doable and easy, but when you know, the bills are coming in and the kids are screaming and you have to take the car to be MOT'd and all that stuff. It can go by the wayside. So really deliberately build that back into your daily practice and connect with a higher power. It will make everything much easier. And the time spent meditating will ensure that you can overcome things much quicker than you would be otherwise. 
So I hope that gives you an idea of what you'll be working with for the rest of October. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow for the daily tarot reading. Yes. Um, next month for the monthly, um, tomorrow for the daily tarot reading, weekly for the weekly horoscopes and monthly for the monthly um, horoscopes. So I do lots of videos. Check them all out on the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash tarot astrology, or just type in Gregory Scott astrology or tarot, and you'll see my videos. See what you feel drawn to, and I hope you have a wonderful month.